Hey, you all. Welcome back to What's Happening. So shout out to Real Talk B. I want to give her her props for bringing this to our attention that there was a lawsuit that uh, Letitia and Marceau Scott's company, Show Industries, had put out against Zen Gardens. Now, this lawsuit was interesting to me because I had did a whole story about the Zen Garden Apartments last year that Schult had assisted in constructing. And so when I heard about this, I wanted to delve a little bit more to kind of find out what the allegations were, what the countersuit was, and what all was involved in this. So it looks like the complaint was filed on June 21st of this year. And there's a lot of information on this lawsuit. Now, I'm not going to read through all of this. I'm just going to summarize what it pretty much says. Um, basically, Marceau and Letitia Scott's company, Show Industries, sued Zen Gardens and Eva Bank, who was the mortgage holder for the apartment complex. They sued them for $804,000. $321.35, which Schult claims is the value of the materials provided and labor services performed by Schult at the direction of the owner. In count one, Schult claims that pursuant to the contract that Schult and its agents, their servants, their employees, their subcontractors supplied services, labor, and they're stating they supplied all materials all in connection with the project, thereby enhancing the value of the owner's property. Now, the court document further states that the owner, despite demands for payment, has failed to pay and that the entire debt became mature on March 31st, 2022, and that Gardens breached their contract. And it states in this document that Schultz Industries has been damaged. Um, so Schultz is damaged. They're saying, I'm going to assume that they are, if they weren't paid, they weren't going to be able to pay their subcontractors and anyone else that helped and assisted with this project. Um, but Zen Gardens responded to the lawsuit on July 12th. They filed their claim, uh, that states, Hey, you know, paragraph one and two, we admit to those allegations. Paragraph three lacks sufficient knowledge for us to admit or deny, uh, paragraph four, they denied those allegations and demanded proof. Now, I'm not going to get into all of uh, this. I'm not going to read all of this. Um, I will just get down to the bottom, which was their counterclaim. But on counts one and two, once again, some things they denied, requested proof. Um, a couple of things they said, OK, we do agree. Now, as we get down further in their response, they filed their counterclaim. Count one, they said that the contract was breached. They said on February 25th, 2020, they entered into a contract with Schultz Industries for um, the completion and construction of Zen Garden Apartments. As part of the contract, Schultz had certain responsibilities and requirements with which it had to comply in order to receive payment, including but not limited to the following. So Schultz was supposed to provide skilled supervisory and management personnel over the job using the contractor's best skill and attention. They were to coordinate all portions of work under the contract. Schultz was to provide inspections to ensure quality work performance during the applicable time frame, compliance with audit procedures. They were to have employment of a competent superintendent and assistants to be present at the project site during the performance of the work. So basically they're stating that the people that were there were not competent. Um, it goes on to say performance of the work should have been done in a competent and workmanlike manner and in a timely fashion. So obviously that wasn't done. It also says maintaining an appropriate construction schedule for the work and provide warranties for the materials and equipment utilized in the Zen Garden apartment project. Zen Garden says that Schultz failed to comply with the terms of the contract and such non-compliance constitutes a material breach of the contract, which has caused Zen to incur damages 
including but not limited to the following. So Zen actually ended up having to hire a project management firm to complete the project. They were also required to pay additional sums for materials, including wood, metal, electrical, doors and windows, finishes and specialty items. Zen says they've also suffered damages from these overrun costs because of the delay in the project caused by Schultz breach of the contract. Now this is where it gets real ugly in the countersuit. Zen says they've suffered a loss of revenue due to the delays caused by Schultz failure to abide by the terms of the contract, but they are now demanding compensatory damages in the amount of $5,548,409.33. Yikes. <laughs> um, they also say that they want interest as allowed by law, attorney fees, and costs. Now, Zen Garden Apartments is alleging that Show intentionally and or negligently represented that it had skilled project managers and superintendents who would provide quality work as required by the contract. They said basically they misrepresented themselves in a nutshell. Zen Garten goes on to accuse Schult of intentionally and or negligently representing that it could perform the job for a specific price, which was substantially lower than other bids received by Zen in an effort to lure Zen into accepting Schultz bid for the contract. Now, this is one of those situations where you say you get what you pay for. Lower costs sometimes can mean lower quality. Um, and in this case, it sounds like that's what happened. But, you know, we've got to let this all play out. But uh, Zen Garden says they want that $5.5 million plus any interest allowed by the law and any other relief that they may be entitled to. Now, Eva Bank also responded to the complaint on July 13th, the day after Zen Gardens. And uh, they stated basically there wasn't enough information for them to admit or deny the statements made in the suit. Now, it also appears that Eva Bank is accusing Show Industries of having unclean hands and uh, the unclean hands doctrine applies to cases where the plaintiff has acted unethically in connection to the circumstances that have led to the suit. Now, when I read that in the document, it made me think about Miss Melody. Um, what does she always say? Clean hands, pure heart. Um, that goes a long way in life, as you can see. And as far as Martel wanting to get himself back into show and buy back into the company, uh, probably not a good idea. His best bet is probably to just continue to focus on trying to sell that wine. All of this is probably why we don't really see any type of construction or any work going on on the show. But you guys, sound off below. Let me know your comments on all of this. Um, also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.